Hey friends, good afternoon. I want, I want to just take a moment to share with you the story of Genesis 28. It's the story of Jacob's dream. And I think it's worth remembering that the ladder in this dream came down in the spot where Jacob felt alone, afraid, helpless, even forsaken. He was worn out and strung out and, and he lays down under the night sky with nothing but, but a stone for, for a pillow. An unexpected encounter turns into an unassuming place into a sacred ground. And I think the same can happen to us. You know, we can't control it. We don't, we don't choose a place and, and all of a sudden make it holy. It's good for us to remember in this season of life where many of us have found ourselves in that, that it's not holy ground because we choose it to be holy. It's holy and sacred space because of the, the God that we encounter in these moments. Jacob himself named this space Bethel, which means house of God. And he named that after his encounter with God in this space, a place that was made holy after an experience with the Holy One. We see it throughout scripture, a burning bush in the middle of a desert, a dusty road leading up to Damascus, a, an empty feeding trough, all those made holy and sacred after God encounters. The author Barbara Brown Taylor writes, As with Jacob, most of my visions of the divine have happened while I was busy doing something else. I don't make them happen, she says. My only part is to decide, how will I respond? I can stop what I'm doing long enough to see where I am, who I'm with, and how awesome this place has become. And I think that's what's being asked of us in this season is how will we respond? You know, the Celtic Christians call these thin places. And thin places are the cracked doors where we are allowed in this world to catch a glimpse of God's invisible presence. Thin places is where the, the boundaries between the known and the unknown intersect. It could be geographical, but it's also relational. Because thin places happen when you're on the floor playing with your children. They can happen over a Zoom call, catching up with grandparents and friends. It's the place where our hearts are opened because the sacred becomes present to us in a way that, that we didn't expect. We didn't see it coming. The curtain is pulled back, if only for a moment, and we are overwhelmed by love and grace and mercy. So I leave you with this word of encouragement and that is that God likes to show up in ordinary places and unexpected times to remind us and encourage us that friends we're not alone so the question is how will you respond my name is Jamie Prickett and I want to thank you for taking a moment to watch if you have found hope and inspiration in this message I want to encourage you to, to share it with others Again, thank you. Have a great week and God bless.